Hello everyone and welcome back to Parkasaurus where oh look at that our triceratops are cuddling that is so adorable and unfortunately they are still in pretty bad moods however we have vastly increased the amount of privacy that they now get because every time they walk through the tall grasses they really feel a lot better but they are almost all outgrown they have almost all outgrown their rock shelter so we do need to try to get a even better rock shelter for them so they can really be out of the way and I think we may have finally gotten yes we have enough hearts we've got it you guys the toy ball will this finally finally be the thing that we need to make our dinosaurs happy to give them a sense of peace and joy to make them stop destroying everything let's find out I just threw in three toy balls what's gonna happen there's a triceratops. Okay, triceratops eating from uh, eating from the feeder. They're supposed to gain some enrichment from eating from this feeder, so hopefully that'll work. We have the toy ball. Come on. Yeah, okay, a little bit of enrichment. Toy ball, toy ball, toy ball. Play with the toy ball. Somebody play with the toy ball. Oh, 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 oh. <gasps> Is it gonna happen? <gasps> it's so cute. Did you hear all of the cheering? Suddenly everybody starts cheering. Everybody's happy. The <laughs> oh, this, that was so cute. They threw the toy ball and then they're like, okay, okay, I gotta throw another one. Oh my gosh, is she really coming over for the other one? If she was coming over for the other one, I was gonna laugh so hard, but she's not. Oh my goodness. All right, well, that was really cute. I actually really liked that. Uh, and the, the, like, the... The veterinarian has gone ahead and put the toy ball back. Did that make Pandora happy? <gasps> it made her so happy. Oh my gosh. I want to have more toys for all of the animals. We're going to throw down a bunch of these balls. Hopefully it'll make them all a lot happier. It'll give our dinosaurs something to do. They now have a ton of balls everywhere. Everybody should have one. And that should keep them all quite happy. And then also, how are my guests? Doing good, doing good. Are they coming to the burger joint? Yeah, it seems like they're coming to our, and we're gonna actually name this, uh, like, uh, bio, hmm. All right, let's, let's actually call this dino, uh, dino bites, maybe? I'm not sure. We'll go with Dino Bites just for now because it's supposed to represent like being able to get some lab grown dinosaur burgers, which I think sound cool or veggie burgers if that is your thing. Uh, and let's actually get some like, huh, I think I accidentally destroyed the pathing over here, by the way. Uh, let's come over here. There we go. And let's actually come over and get a few more things that we can get some income from. I do love fresh squeezed oranges and I do love funnel cakes. Why is the funnel cake shop so big? Oh my gosh. Well, we're gonna also put down like the fresh squeezed oranges uh, on this side of the park too. Cause on one side we have bananas and on the other side, I wanna be able to sell like fresh squeezed oranges. Cause I think that sounds really cute. So we can kind of have lots of vegetables for the vegetarian loving dinosaurs so there's a fresh squeezed orange shop and i wanted to put down a balloon shop maybe because that sounded kind of fun but how close are we to unlocking something bigger than that because we are pulling in the science like nobody's business you guys we actually did get the admission booth and i haven't even done anything with that yet we have a triceratops fountain and a normal bathroom oh my gosh and there's the rare gem we need the rare gem before anything else, actually. And I do want potted flowers at some point, because that would be really nice. Uh, and the arch torches, more potted flowers. Normally, I would be all about that, too. Uh, wait, a garbage playground? What? We can put down playgrounds? <gasps> that would be nice. A clock block. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that it looks like people will enjoy. We could upgrade our roast chickpeas. Hmm. Oh, dinosaur art. That sounds really cool. Classic clock, a dome that would allow our guests to rest. So there's just lots of different options for how you want to try to unlock everything. Like there's a lot of scenery that you can unlock up top. Iron chef. Hmm. Wishing of uh, wishing well. That is so cute. I love that idea. There's a bunch of different fountains, actually. So I think the fountain might be something that we try to unlock next. 
because that would be a really nice decoration touch. Uh, the dinosaur art, art made by dinosaurs from the park. <gasps> what? Okay, that's too cute. We have to unlock that next. So that would be like butter delicious. We'd have to do the butter delicious path in order to do that. So let's do it. Eh, there we go. Now we need to save up enough science to get the nice pack number one, where we can get a dome to allow people to rest and stay longer, where we can get a classic clock that will be a decoration of wonder for our guest, and dinosaur art made by the dinosaurs of our park, which just sounds way too precious. Also, we've had this message for forever. I should check it. Today, we celebrate the invention of the burger. Sell burgers. Accept. Cool! And I just set up our special dinosaur burger place. So that should hopefully complete one of our challenges that we get from the dinosaurs in charge of this place. Whew. And speaking of dinosaurs, wow. Why does she have so many like circle thingies over her head? Are you really, are you stuck? Is that your problem, ma'am? Looking to donate $205? Must find donation box? Wow. Come here. Oh my gosh, she did. <gasps> what? Why did she donate that much? Why did he donate that much? So those circles over their head tell you how much they're going to donate. That is so cool. Also, can I upgrade the outhouse? I should be able to up upgrade for $50. Ooh, there we go. We upgraded it. The path does not connect to it anymore, though. How many people have I lost? Because I didn't notice that. <laughs> there we go. Now the path should connect up to it. Um, and if I do this, we'll have more people be able to get to it. There we go. All right, so I think people weren't able to get to my outhouse. Uh, and then I should unlock, so employee building, $2,000 upgrades. Wow! Our science is like, get back over here, buddy. Gideon, come here. Like, there you go. You've got science to learn. And it should be, it should be green science, by the way. Cause that's my favorite color. Come on, green and blue, green and blue. Get with the theme. Why is it, why is it not all green and blue? Come on, change the color. Okay, we can hire another scientist to do research over there if we want. Uh, green research building, there we go. Everything's nice and green, that's the way I like it. Uh, whoa, <laughs> and here we go. So we have a tier reward, we have food and drink and ticket sales, and exhibit donations are through the roof. I'm very happy about the exhibit donations that we have coming on in. It seems like people are starting to have a really good time. I don't see any more five stars. Uh, and we don't really have any more information about our guest. Our staff is getting up there on a lot of their experience points, especially when I remember to come in and go on the expeditions that we go to. And our dinosaurs should hopefully be happy. They just start the day bored and have to build up from there. Uh, and somebody left a bunch of trash on the ground. I do think we need to hire another janitor now that we have more going on. So let's actually pop into the office really quickly. We should hire, I think a speedy janitor. Mm, yeah, speedy janitor, speed 12, speed 13. We'll hire her. There we go. We'll get the, the first order. We have a janitor going around who should hopefully help to keep things clean. I guess maybe I should put in like another, another garbage bin really quickly. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, there's the employee building. Oh, we could put another gazebo just like over here. Nice and pretty. People could rest. I like it. Now we have two gazebos. I like how it keeps the color theme that I set. We don't have a bench, so we could put down like another bench over here somewhere. Maybe let people rest, view everything. I should probably think about that in a little bit. Okay. <sighs> All right, so what I wanna work on next is actually I'm gonna save this area for a fountain. Oh, speaking of which, can I get a fountain now? No, we only have 520 science. We need more science. Let's do a dig really quickly with my current scientist. Whoa, look at all of that. Nice, nice. Oh, so much. He's got he's got quite the talent there. All right, we can get a few digs off here. She can help me there and here. And then let me be the one to peck away these pieces. All right, come on. We've got this, my fellow scientist. All right, so there's one piece there. And all right, there's one piece there. 
but now after we do this we are gonna go see the chickens because the time has come now that oh man there was another piece hiding down there okay we're good uh and i think well, i guess i'll go ahead and do another search but now the time has come oh after we have upgraded all of that after we have gotten these dinosaurs happier we're still waiting to have enough hearts to carry on and build our way I guess we have the ball now, so the next thing, oh wait, the next thing we should work on is unlocking new areas we can we can research. <laughs> oh, that's definitely gonna be the next goal. Okay, unlocking new areas that we can research is the next goal. And I wanna see what kind of dinosaurs we can make. Let's see if we can find a small size dinosaur. Is this dinosaur happy? Yes, privacy went up because of that little patch of grass. A++ makes me so happy. They have lots and lots of balls for enrichment that they can play with. I might want to change out all of the feeders to be like ball feeders. Oh, look at that! <gasps> Taki is playing with the little ball! Oh, it is happening. They are happy. Oh, I want more dinosaurs. <laughs> let's go to the egg shop, guys, and let's do this. So what can we actually make? Um, okay. There is the Gigantosaurus, which we could get eventually. Um, I do have, okay, so we need rare gemstone for a lot of these guys. What about a Triceratops? We could get a Triceratops. I imagine that's kind of a big one. We could get a Kentosaurus who loves the mud, which would be kind of fun. I sort of want to try to go for a smaller dinosaur, perhaps. Uh, I don't think we have any small dinos. <laughs> Oh my goodness. And actually, now that I'm looking at it, I don't think we have actually outgrown this shelter. I just don't think my dinosaurs were using them quite as often as I hoped for. Oh, Oviraptors! I really want Oviraptors. They need a rare gem in Theropodia, though. Oh, and there's little Velociraptors, too. All right, so we've got... Do we have any small... The Minimi! Oh, that's one of my favorite ones. What will it take? A rare gem? Where are my rare gems? We do have the rare gems already. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, hang on. Wait. Wait. Ah! And I need the Ankylosaurus stuff in order to get that. So we need to unlock the Ankylosaurus area in order to get the mini -me. Ah! Oh, we just got we just got some sort of perk for completing all of the burgers sold. I had no idea what just happened and it alarmed me. Uh, let's see. Sauropodia. We'll have to wait a while to get to the sauropods. So yeah, it looks like if we want to unlock something, maybe the Kentrosaurus, and they like mud tundra. So they like muddy tundras and they're medium sized. Uh, for small, we can do a Velociraptor, Minimi and Oviraptor. And I would really like to get some like Oviraptors because I think they're adorable, but that's gonna have to wait till we get to the Theropodia area. So, okay, good to know. Holy cow. Like, boom, boom, boom. Maybe I need to give you a raise, buddy. Because <laughs> that was pretty impressive. All right, we got that one. Got this one. Got that one. She's done. Got this one. Almost there on that one. And we can do some secondary level digging. Nice. All right, I've got the rest. And boom. Boom, 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 boom. Nice, okay. And then, oh, that was a lucky guess. <laughs> All right, and uh, okay. There's four items left and I can't get any more. I think there was money over here. All right, we're returning home and I can't go to any of the other areas just yet. So I don't think I'm gonna send out an expedition team right now. And I think that the only new dinosaur that we can make, and keeping in mind this is the alpha version of the game, by the way. Um, let's go buy some gemstones. I'm gonna buy one uncommon and one rare gem. And then go back to the egg shop. And let's do this. I wanna buy a new dinosaur. And I, I think I wanna go with the Kent. Let's go with the Kentosaurus. I'm probably gonna want more than one. So let's go back to town. I'm gonna buy a few of those. I probably wanna start with at least two. So, my chicken. One, two, 
two new eggs. There we go, guys. This is going to be exciting. We're going to turn this back corner of the entire park. In fact, does it just like it does just kind of connect up over here? Uh, we're going to turn this back corner of the park into a really cool muddy area. It's going to be completely dedicated to the Kentosaurus. So hopefully that'll be really fun. It is now a new exhibit. Let's see how much we can get done before the day is over. Dun, 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 terrain. We're going to want a tundra. Oh, there's the mud. All right. And this is used to create the tundra. <gasps> there's mushrooms. Yes. I love the mushrooms. I just think they're really cute. I'm just a big fan of mushrooms because um, I, I think they're really cool. They're unlike any plant and they only pop up like overnight. I love going on forest hikes and trying to find them. And if you're new here, you don't know that. And if you've been here a while, you know I love them because I just think they're really cool. All right, so what can we do? We have some mud. We, ha we need a tundra, if I remember correctly. Yes, we need to make a tundra biome. So let's make this happen, guys, as quickly as we can. We're going to come on in here. Uh, we don't need a lot of wetness, actually, but I'm going to give them just a teeny little pond. Not too much, not too much. Uh, it'd be kind of cool if I could actually, like, make it nice, like a little... Look at that. We're going to give them, like, a little raised area just scattered here and there. Nice, nice, nice. Raise up the mushrooms a little bit. Uh, and we need to, ah, oh, it's the end of the day. <laughs> All right, well, I got caught at the end of the day. We gained seven hearts. We gained more science, which is really exciting. Any more five-star reviews? Any more? Any more? Not yet. I think people love baby dinosaurs. You could have fooled me. Like, wow. <laughs> Who could have guessed? Somebody, people love baby dinosaurs. People love baby anything. I would have never known. Thank goodness. Thank goodness I kind of clued in on that. Uh, all right, we're gonna go ahead and come down here. It's not like when I say things like wolf pup that it's the most the most popular thing ever. Uh, and this is, it's 0% private, so the guests can see absolutely everything. Let's throw this up really, really quickly. And what if we put some privacy tiles back here? Does that help? Does this help? Hopefully this helps. Oh, there's mushrooms in the privacy tiles. I love it. So hopefully this helps gives them, to give them a sense of privacy. We'll work on that in just a minute. I'm going to put down a couple toys before we even start with the trees and things. Uh, we're going to do, we need a medium shelter. So we're going to do a flat rock shelter at the back. And we're going to do two of them so that hopefully they feel they have enough privacy right back here. All right, there we go. Uh, and let's also do like a cool, let's do the stump feeders. Let's just like straight up make the stump feeders the main the main course. I'll put in two of them. Oh, I'm gonna need even more food, aren't I? <laughs> All right, and let's turn this place into a tundra. It is a swamp right now. <gasps> Am I gonna lose my mushrooms? Probably, it's gonna be all right. And now we are going to turn it into a tundra by making it more rugged. Okay, so that's what we need to do. We've got to make this place go up and down a little bit. Let's see how quickly I can make that happen. Na 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 na. Did that, did that, oh, 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 oh. It's doing something. <laughs> it's doing something, guys. I think, does it need to go up? This is so cool. You actually have to make it more rugged. Oh my gosh, we're a tundra now. <gasps> That's so neat. Can I, can I just, whoops, now we're a swamp. Didn't mean to. Um, wow, can I like flatten this somehow? <laughs> there we go. That might make it a little bit better. Now we're majorly a tundra. Can I lower it a little bit? Ah! <laughs> uh, don't trust me with these tools, I think is the moral of the story. I need to flatten, I need to flatten this please so that they can actually get to their food, please. Thank you. Okay, and now I need to raise it just a teensy bit. Thank you. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> Nobody let Siri drive the, the, the like bulldozer anymore. <laughs> the results are a little terrifying. 
<laughs> but all right, so um, we've got the basics of our new Tundra exhibit out and hopefully we'll be able to add in our new dinosaurs very soon. So next time we're gonna add in some of the really cool crystals and a whole bunch of the cool Tundra trees and hopefully make this place look amazing. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.